most people welcome the sight of wildlife into their backyard. Many will actually landscape their yards to attract wildlife or supply supplemental food, water, and shelter. Although, not all of our wildlife is welcome with open arms. This is unfortunate because snakes are very beneficial to the homeowner by keeping harmful pests like the introduced brown roof rat and Norway rat populations in check. No other snake has as nasty and undeserved reputation as the cottonmouth. This reputation has not only caused the unnecessary death of many cottonmouth, but also many non-venomous species. With a little time and education, you can easily tell the difference. The western cottonmouth is a relatively short, stout-bodied snake that can reach up to 3 feet in length. Juveniles, 6 to 11 inches. Juvenile cottonmouths display very clear and vivid markings. Like its cousin the copperhead, juvenile cottonmouths have a yellowish tail. To the untrained eye, these markings can look similar to that of the harmless eastern hognose snake that lives on a diet of frogs and toads. As they grow older, the markings become less and less distinct. Many older adults appear to be solid black. Without displaying easily distinguishable markings, it may be a bit difficult for some to differentiate them from the family Nerodia, or the water snakes. Typically occupying the same ecosystem, the family of snakes known as Nerodia are often mistaken for cottonmouths. But here are some easy ways to differentiate between them and the cottonmouth. As you can see, there is a prominent ocular stripe across the upper jaw. Typically, this stripe extends from the nostrils, across the eye, to the back of the jaw. This stripe is present in both the adult and the juvenile of the species. This feature is not present on any other snakes in our area. Here, you can see a plain-bellied water snake and a cottonmouth side by side. Notice the ocular stripe on the cottonmouth? This feature is absent on the plain-bellied water snake as well as the other water snakes. At first glance, these snakes can appear to have similar markings, but with practice, they are very easily distinguishable. Though the cottonmouth and other vipers have a triangular-shaped head, this is not a for sure way of telling a cottonmouth apart from other water snakes. When frightened, water snakes can flatten their heads and give the appearance that they are triangular. When harassed, the cottonmouth will typically coil around itself with its head in the center of the coil. With continued harassment, the cottonmouth will rattle its tail and open its mouth, displaying the cotton white lining in an attempt to warn its harassers that it means business. Though not exclusive to cottonmouths, the open mouth display is a telling characteristic of this species. The Texas rat snake, for example, does a very similar display of opening its mouth as well as rattling its tail. Although, the Texas rat snake looks nothing like the cottonmouth. The Texas rat snake is a longer, slender snake with large, round eyes and does not display the ocular stripe. Both venomous and non-venomous snakes are a great benefit to the ecosystem by controlling the rodent population, especially in suburban areas. With a little practice and keen observation, you can become a pro at identifying all the different species of snakes we have in Southeast Texas.